Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Siri Manjo. If it's your first time stopping here or you happen to stumble upon this beautiful and amazing channel, you're very welcome. And if it's not your first time, you know you came back or you got the notification and you're right here. I appreciate you a lot. You're very welcome. So today I'm going to talk today I'm going to be talking about the meat meat and the fact about keto, like fact and fiction about keto. Everybody knows what keto is. We hear it almost every day. You hear keto on the internet, you hear keto on Instagram, we are you open YouTube, you are seeing keto this, keto that. Almost every time, keto, keto, keto. We are wondering what is keto? Well, I'm here to tell you about the meat and the facts. Not meat, not fish, the meat and the facts. Anyways, the first thing I'm going to start with is will keto kill you? Number one, will keto kill you? Darling, no. Keto is a diet that I don't know if I should take time to explain what keto is again because if you type keto you get a definition the only thing is you might not understand it because I didn't understand it. immediately I heard about it or immediately I read about it I had to like sit down to analyze the whole thing but let me just quickly explain it it's a kind of diet where you stop taking sugar and carbohydrates your two main sources of energy so your body you know readjusts and start using fat as your only source of energy that way your body begins to burn stored fat and that is when the weight loss comes in so all right now you have to there's something you go through they call it a keto flu that is when your body is adjusting from the carbs sugar to fats as your source of um, energy so you might get a slight headache you might throw up some people pass out I don't know but I've never passed out the only thing that happens to me is uh, the headache so the second fact of fiction or myth I want to address is can you eat fat during keto yes you have to eat enough fat because that is your only source of energy that your body is going to be using so you have to eat enough fat so you see people eating cheese you see people eating mayonnaise you see people eating butter you see them eating different sources of fat avocado here and you're wondering what kind of diet are you doing are you deceiving yourself no they're not deceiving themselves they know their omens they know their eggs so yes you have to eat enough fat so you can power up your body and have enough energy for your body to work with then also number three is can you eat protein on a keto diet yes you can eat protein the three main sources of food you eat on a keto diet are protein fat and vegetables and the protein you eat are your normal cow meat goat meat lamb shrimp fish protein bacon so many sources of protein out there and they are for vegan protein there are other sources of protein they do which i'm not familiar with because i eat meat i eat beef so yes you have to eat protein meanwhile you cannot eat so much protein because excess protein turns into glucose which like distorts the whole ketosis whatever and then your body doesn't go into ketosis you don't get to lose weight and all that so you have to be moderate with your protein next i'm going to be talking about is keto the fastest way is keto the fastest way to lose weight to lose is keto the fastest way to lose weight um let me start by saying for me it has been the fastest and the most sustainable way of losing weight because once your body gets into ketosis after like 10 days when you start your keto diet you begin to lose weight like it takes about a month or six weeks because i lost almost seven kg in a month and that was like the fastest for me when i was doing my regular low carb diet it wasn't this fast so ketosis uh, keto diet for me I don't know about any other person I mean I'm open to whatever for me it was the fastest yes also I'm going to be talking about keto for diabetic diabetes or diabetic patients um there I know there are two types of diabetes there's the one where the sugar is 
or the blood sugar is too much and one where the blood sugar is not enough if blood sugar is too much keto is like a go-to for you because it drastically reduces your blood sugar and that way i think it helps the condition of a person who has diabetes so yes keto is good for a person who is diabetic and wants to reduce blood sugar then hmm, this one here is keto is a disease my i have somebody her mom called her and told her she had to stop keto because she had a disease called ketosis <laughs> there's a disease called keto <laughs> And it is called ketosis and that is very bad something something so she has to stop doing her keto and we we're like ketosis is what we aim at on a keto diet ketosis is a condition your body gets into where your body your sorry your brain releases ketones into the blood streams that allows your body use fat as your source of energy and that way you burn fat so yes we aim at ketosis she had to start explaining to her mom that no ketosis is this is that is and all that so no ketosis is not a disease ketosis is the condition we're looking for to lose the weight to lose all the fat you know all this thing <laughs> it should fly away <laughs> okay okay the next one is does keto reduce blood sugar is going to reduce your blood sugar like i said keto reduces blood sugar drastically so i don't know how to explain i mean i'm not a medical practitioner but if you do your research like i did mine you'll find out that yes it does it does reduce blood sugar okay so next one is can you do keto for a long term mm, i'm kind of a lazy keto girl I mean I crave a lot and if you are in my house my own house that I know hmm, there's rice yeah bread everything flying around your face flying around your nose jello fries plantain beans ah hmm. it takes a lot of determination and dedication <laughs> all right so if you want to do keto for long term health wise I'm not sure but I know of people who do it I know makeup Sheila does keto like she has been doing keto for a long time and in one of her videos she said she is not going to stop so it means she would have consulted consulted a doctor to find out if it was good for her if she was like in the right condition to do it and yes even people who are diabetic they do keto for like long term so it should Especially if you have consulted your doctor or your provider, your healthcare provider, and you are certified to carry on with your keto diet for a long time, you should be able to do it. But for somebody like me, I wish I could do keto for, you know, a lifetime or a long term, but <laughs> the temptations. Is keto sustainable? The next question is, is keto sustainable? well keto for me is sustainable if you find replacement for your cravings someone like me i crave bread a lot like my best food is bread and mayonnaise or one of my best food my second best food is noodles you can imagine it, um so i found out that you could eat coconut bread that was like the ding ding for me so yes it was it's sustainable for me if i find out how to um replace my cravings i've replaced my swallow with um eggplant amala coconut swallow cabbage fufu like i when they're eating a bar i bring out my eggplant and i'm all right when they're eating their bread i bring out my coconut bread and i'm still on my ketosis you know so it, it, it has to do with um, replacing your cravings because there's not how you say you're on a keto diet and you really feel like eating something and you know it's not just as I'm a kind of person I don't like deceiving myself like if I want to eat something I will eat it it's not that one that we eat that day that will not make me to add 5 kg you understand from there we will know how to continue <laughs> our keto diet <laughs> okay so just find replacement for your cravings that will help you like a lot i replaced my shawarma with them um, what's it called cabbage wrap and lettuce wrap 
those two like it replaces sharma for me so yes it's sustainable to an extent yes well um, the next one is will you add weight when you stop doing the keto diet huh. it is what you put inside your body that will make you add the weight it's not the fact that you stopped doing the keto that will make you add weight because i know most time when you go on a diet you stop like 70 percent of the time you you blow up even more than the way you were before i don't know how it happens yeah it happened to me and that was when i said you know what i can't even do this normal look up diet. i need to look for something that is stronger strong that's when i stumbled upon keto so it depends on what you are putting inside your body that is what is going to make you blow up or not so if you are eating a, a normal low carb food you'll be able to maintain your weight if you if you eat or you consume more than you were before and you're a kind of person that you have the tendency to add a lot of weight on time you're going to definitely add weight so yes it depends on what you put in your body so if you're a carb lover and you want to go on a keto diet that's like the lame next question can carb lover carb carbohydrate lovers go on a keto diet well carb lovers go on a keto diet that also has to do with replacing like the things you crave most in carbohydrates the things you crave most in carbohydrates replacing them with keto compliant food eg replacing your bread your tortilla with almond flour coconut flour and all that so i find a way to make them look nice and you know enticing to you like i do the cauliflower rice because once they're eating rice or jollof rice or fried rice you bring out the cauliflower rice even if it doesn't look like it you know you spice it up put shrimp soy sauce mix everything together before you know it's it's when you enter your mouth like this, you will be confused. I, I've not seen this type of rice before. <laughs> your brain will tell you that it's cauliflower rice, but your stomach is telling you it's jollof rice or fried rice. All right. <laughs> okay, so the last one is keto for hypertension. First and foremost, if a person is about to start keto and I'm asked, like people ask me on my Instagram if they can do the keto i like to ask them if they are medically fit because a person who has hypertension cannot eat as much protein as any other person can eat so i heard i mean i stand to be corrected i'm not a medical practitioner you can't eat too much protein because of many many things so if you want to do hypertension and all that you if you want to do keto and you are hypertensive you need to consult your provider your healthcare provider to know if you are fit even if you are fit you need to know if you have to find replacements for the protein you can't take in excess so it all boils down to knowing like you knowing your body knowing if you are fit to go into it and all that so if you if you are not sure i'd rather you just stay off it or do the low carb and stay stay in your lane or you can do if intermittent fasting it works like magic also yeah so that's the last question for today and if you want to know more about keto you have any questions about keto or you want me to film anything for you concerning keto or you know makeup hair anything you want let me know in the description box down below thank you so much for watching this video my name is timmy manja once again don't forget to subscribe if you haven't come on put the notification bell also yes yeah, just put it now <laughs> okay give this video a thumbs up and see you in my next video bye